We're officially in 2024. Where did the time go? I'm getting old. No, seriously, guys, where did 2023 go? Like, it's insane. We're in 2024. I'm gonna have to get used to writing that date down now. Anyways, it's obviously January. Okay, future Anushka here. I know I said that it was January. It's now February. And we just didn't get time to like upload this video. I still decided to post it because why not? It's drugstore makeup. I think we all still need the affordability around here so i hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs> most of us will be broke from all the gift buying and the shopping that we did we had black friday we had christmas and then there was cyber uh, boxing day so i thought i'd do a little makeup look using amazing affordable drugstore makeup so that yeah if you're looking for some bomb products there are you've got so much you've got so many options at the drugstore i'm just going to show you what i used to create this look like can you believe that's all drugstore. So yeah, if you want to know how I got this look and you want to save some money, then just keep on watching. I'm going to use my Bio Ellie brow texture. And we're going to put these brow hairs in place. I already started applying and then I forgot. I was like, actually, I need to be filming. Why am I doing my brows already? <laughs> then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. This is like glue for your makeup. I think they discontinued this, but it's back now. So if you can get your hands on it and it just smells like watermelon so tacky then i'm gonna go in with my trusty old maybelline skin tint in the shade 45 you guys know that this stuff is bomb it's just so easy look it applies so nicely but yeah i hope you guys all had a really nice new year's eve however you spent it i know everyone's different some years we don't do anything some years we go spend it with like family and like the older i get it's just like at christmas and new year's eve it's like there's so much pressure like for you to do stuff and go out because you've seen everyone online do it some people just want to stay home and be tucked in bed and watch a movie you know i have a huge mountain spot there oh my god it's so big x factor multi perfector concealer i use the shade 6n and I've literally said it before, it's like a tart shape tape tube. Then I'm gonna use the Max Factor bronzer in the shade Warm Tan. This bronzer is like really nicely pigmented and it's just like the bright tone for my skin. Look at that, like butter. Oh, this bronzer, I'm so glad I discovered it. Like it's so nice. Bear in mind, I haven't like set any of my makeup and it's just going on to cream products so effortlessly. Then I'm gonna use this sleek cream blush in the shade Coral Crush. Literally just go in with my finger with this and it's so nice. Sleek baking and setting powder in the shade Light. And I'm just gonna put this under my eyes. I'm gonna use a bit of my Revlon Colorstay Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Black. And I'm just gonna fill my brows in. I'm gonna try and like commit to at least one video a week. That clearly went amazingly well because I haven't even posted a YouTube video in the past month. Like what the hell? I need to be more serious with myself. Anyways, I'm planning content for you guys. Just, just bear with me, just bear with me. Which I think I've been doing not too bad the past month. Cause obviously you guys know I have a full time job and it's really hard to commit to like a certain schedule for YouTube because I do create so much content for Instagram and TikTok. You will see that I'm quite active on the short side cause I upload anything that gets on TikTok on Instagram on shorts as well. Cause I know a lot of you don't have TikTok or don't use Instagram. But yeah, I just wanna be more present on my YouTube this year. I'm still trying to think like, what kind of videos you still wanna see? And a lot of you say vlogs and makeup, the long form makeup chit chat videos. So I'm gonna just keep on doing them. I'm gonna go in with this Max Factor Priyanka eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to take this taupey shade here. I don't know why, but I just love taupey colours for every day. I mean, you could put an eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer. A really good one is the P. Louise Eye Base in Rumour 3. It's amazing for your eyeshadow. I'm just going to do a light layer of this and on my lower lash line. This is my trusty old Tweezerman lash curler i cannot live without this oh my god my lips are so dry that's so embarrassing it's okay we're gonna put a lip oil i don't know about you guys but like 2023 went so quickly like time is flying oh i, I didn't even say what mascara i'm using i'm just here putting my mascara on it's the essence i love extreme mascara you can get this from your local wilco it'll be like three pounds but if you can't i just get mine from amazon but it is a bit more 
pricey on there, like it's like five or six pounds, but still, you know, affordable. I actually think I need to get one, another one because it's drying up now. I've had it for ages. I probably shouldn't even be using this one now. I'm not gonna lie, in 2024, I just really wanna be like healthier. Like I say that every year, but I really wanna be on it this year. Just make healthier food choices. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie, I wanna lose weight. I don't feel healthy at all. It's showing through my skin because I've got spots left, right, and center. It's showing in my back acne because my back acne wasn't like this when I was healthier. So yeah, just making more healthier. Like still eating the things I like because when I lost a lot of weight years ago, I was still eating chocolate, I was still eating the things I love, but I was eating in moderation and moderation is key. So I need to like instill that into me and like, I've done it before, I can do it again. Do you know what? I actually heard someone say this on Instagram. It's, they said, chase the feeling and not the result. And it's so true. Chase the good feeling like that you feel after a workout and just eat good food, that feeling of just feeling healthy and not the result of, you know, looking slimmer and stuff. You know, I know we all want that, but chase the feeling rather than the res end result so that, you know, you can maintain that on the longer term. Morphe lip liners did not disappoint in 2023 and I'm going to use the one, uh, the sweet tea one. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. lip oil. To be honest, out of all the shades, this one's the best one. It's in the shade Honey Talks. And it just makes your lips look extra shiny. I'm going to use my trusty old Glow Milk Mist by The Beauty Crop. I feel like this is like a nice everyday makeup. If you had a spectrum for everyday makeup, this would be in the mid. It's not full full. It's not light light. It's like in the middle. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I really like this. I still just feel like, you know, my skin's showing through. I've got my mascara on. That's all I need on my eyes, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to head out. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little video. I've been filming for 17 minutes, so not too bad. Not too bad. Anyways, I do wish you all an amazing year ahead, filled with blessings. Thanks so much for sticking around with me all this time. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.